I'm about to squat 625. That was misgrooved pretty badly. I have not missed a low bar squat since 2016. Will I miss it now? PR attempt. Yep. One thing you'll notice is throughout the years, I have cut my squat depth. Now this is compared to the Arnold and it's very similar. And this got three white lights. In the past, I would feel uncomfortable with this. And this is actually my goal. With my knees out squat style, it often looks a little bit higher from the front view than from the side. It is pushing the limit. And if I gotta go a little deeper, then I will. And no biggie. Now let's replay that without pausing at the bottom. I've gained 30 to 40 pounds of strength since March on one lift. I think I'm going to pass some names that you would think are out of my league. I don't, I don't think anybody is as locked in as I am, honestly, right now, straight up. So just to be clear, this is 283.5 because I have the 0.5, then the 1.25. And I know that's a little abnormal, so that's why I want to show it. And that is exactly 625. Yeah, so the goal now for the meet is going to be 633 is my maximum. No matter what, I'm not going to attempt more than 633 in about seven weeks. And 628 is a good minimum. Where I, th I think, especially with my belt and with everything, they should be able to hit that almost no matter what. Now, for me personally, the way I go into meets is I think I should be able to squat about 10 more pounds than what I'm actually going to squat. You have to give yourself that wiggle room, or else you'll never go nine for nine. Um, and also, beyond 633, there's no point. Because <laughs> if, I, if I hit 633, and I just deadlift a five kilo PR and bench a seven and a half kilo PR, which both seem pretty likely. Um, I told be 1740 <laughs> and, that, and my goal is just 1700. So yeah, it's almost like the gains are coming so fast. I'm like, it's almost stressful, honestly, but I just have to relax and just go, okay. All I need is 1700. So, and anything beyond that is just bounce. One thing I've not announced yet is the fact that I'm competing specifically on November 7th in Savannah, Georgia. It is called the Veterans Day Open. Now, this is going to be really interesting for a number of reasons. First of all, I'm going to hopefully total 1,700 the year after totaling 1,600, which I have mentioned is my primary goal. And I think that would be such a unique thing given it's in back-to-back -back years of reaching those barriers and I'm 21, 22 meets into my powerlifting career. Secondly, is the fact that I'm going to have to compete with a mask on, which personally I think is really fun. I think that's, a, I think that's really cool. I love unique challenges. I don't mind wearing a mask, personally. Um, that's just not not my hill to die on, that's for sure. Um, but I understand the deep ideological concerns. And speaking of which, the third thing is the fact that this is going to be four days after the presidential election, which will make it spicy. And, you know, I try to keep this channel very apolitical, but something that I think is just on a human level, you have to acknowledge that it's ridiculous that so many people for some reason think the credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, who comes short again and again. <laughs> you thought I was gonna get political, didn't you? 